Hello, uh, my name is William Figg. I'm a senior investigator at the National Cancer Institute, the National Institutes of Health in Bethesda, Maryland. So the question is, what inspired me to choose the career I did? Typical for a lot of oncologists, I have a positive family history for cancer. During graduate school, I kept being drawn to lectures, seminars, and rotations in the field. Over my 30 years at the National Cancer Institute, my career has moved from very clinical to much more basic science. And early in my training, I was bitten by the research bug. The opportunity to answer biological questions and then translate those in discoveries into therapeutics is the holy grail. And once you realize you have a prolonged, and once you realize you've prolonged the life of a patient, then you're hooked. You're addicted to uh, oncology research. So the question is, what are we currently working on? My laboratory investigates the molecular and clinical pharmacology of novel anti-cancer agents. We are focused on understanding the genetics, molecular mechanisms that drive prostate cancer specifically. We are also interested in elucidating mechanisms responsible for cancer drug resistance, as well as developing novel therapeutic strategies for patients with advanced prostate cancer who have progressed on standard regimens. And finally, developing bench to be bedside to bench approaches to facilitate the identification of novel druggable targets and for assessing the pharmacokinetics, pharmacodynamics, and pharmacogenetic biomarkers in monitoring clinical response and resistance to therapy. So the question is, why have we chosen to focus on the Prostate Cancer Prevention Study, or PCPT? The PCPT is one of the most unique prevention studies out there. Seven years after starting finasteride or placebo, no matter if a man had an elevated PSA or a positive digital rectal exam, we biopsied the prostate gland. This making it the most unique cohort of controls without cancer. Obesity is also linked to changes in metabolism, hormonal signaling, and inflammation. There, therefore, we were interested in understanding the association of obesity and the risk of prostate cancer in order to dissect how these two complicated disease interact and the biological mechanism that may link them together. So the question is, describe the overall findings from the PCP trial. The initial trial's results showed that men who received finasteride had 25% fewer prostate cancers than men in the placebo group. Updated results, which reported participant deaths over a two-decade period, showed that finasteride has the lasting effect of reducing prostate cancer risk. In addition, it also eliminated concerns over the initial findings of a possible increased risk of aggressive prostate cancer in the finasteride cohort. So what are the clinical implications of our findings? Our findings reveal that circulating serum biomarkers, along with the IGF-1 axis, may modify the association of obesity with prostate cancer risk. The accessibility of circulating serum biomarkers would make it easier for future studies to investigate the role of these potential modifying factors in obesity-related prostate cancer risk, as well as to monitor for cancer development. So what are our next steps in our research efforts? We are interested in delineating the relationship between obesity and circulating serum biomarkers, elucidating the biological mechanisms involved in the driving of prostate cancer progression, and determine whether there may be a genetic contribution to prostate cancer disparity. This is important as a thorough understanding of these mechanisms may be valuable in the development of effective prostate cancer prevention strategies and treatment.